Hi there, I'm Casey Gray, cooking Kraken meat is harder than it looks, and this is D&D Expertise, Episode 3. Gold. It's why you plan the heist, delve into the dungeon, or hunt the bounty. Gold is the fundamental and universal currency across the world in any fantasy game. Except for D&D, because rules is written, we can all go fuck ourselves. That's right, simplifying your interactions to a single unit of currency actually defies the intent of the game designers. In D&D, gold is way more valuable than you'd think, and every other coin isn't worth picking up off the ground, because then you'd have to care how many of them you had. Keeping track of four separate coins in total, or five if you use Electrum, that's not going to happen. What's actually taking place in your games is probably that when you loot the treasure, all that money gets sucked up into your infinite backpack. It's then neatly converted into the total value of the wealth like it's World of Warcraft, rather than the actual number and type of coins you acquired. At the ubiquitous tavern, you just toss out a couple of gold and tell them to keep the change. Nobody objects because you just gave them a hell of a tip in exchange for not having to do the math, and both parties are more than happy with the deal. So, what's gold actually worth? The numbers are a little floaty because D&D wasn't written using the consumer price index, but the nearest conversion is that each gold piece is roughly equivalent to a $100 bill. And how much does your money weigh? Doesn't matter. I doubt you're tracking encumbrance unless Darkest Dungeon was your PC game of the year. All the money you find just goes straight into an ethereal bank account, and merchants across the land are more than happy to process your transactions. Why not? That's how money is in the real world now. If you spent money on D&D 5th edition, was it cash, or did you take the book you wanted to the cashier and casually use what's incredible enough to be a magic item? So when you find loot, hand wave that shit into a bag of holding. Whether or not you actually have that specific magic item, your backpack is just as good in 9 out of 10 games. Just stash it next to all your ammunition. The only exception to this is if your game specifically cares about being hardcore, either because the GM cut his teeth in an early edition of the game, or because the theme of your story is suffering and adversity. In any standard game, tracking specific coins is just bookkeeping that wastes precious time that you could be using to suplex someone off a rooftop, or explore your character's moral philosophy on the ethics of those rooftop suplexes. Are you sending the money you make back home to family in need? Saving up for something special? Stimulating the local economy because you understand the terrible societal danger of wealth stagnation? Exploring that makes for a far more memorable experience at the table. Now, one last tip for game masters when it comes to cash. Nothing draws the wrath of a PC like someone who fucks with their stuff. This is why anyone playing a thief should have their dice confiscated if they suggest trying to steal from the party during the night. While it may be what their character would do, it's going to feel unfun. If a shady NPC scams the party into buying fake passes to enter the city, say goodbye to whatever else you might have had prepped for that day, because now they're going to spend twice the amount they lost buying information in order to track down the con artist and teach him a lesson. Doesn't matter how far he runs, the group will be after him like bloodhounds. Guess what else? Now you know how to establish a villain that the party is emotionally invested in destroying, no matter how long it takes. Eye for an eye might as well be in the player's handbook, 